I sing good one time. Good morning to you. That's right. Good morning to you. It's a brand new day for music, and I'm ready to rock with you. Good morning to you. That's right. Good morning, children. My name is Mr. Luthor. I'm going to open us up in prayer today. Dear Jesus, thank you for this new day to be alive. Thank you for dying on the cross for our sins. Please forgive us for all of our sins and make us right with you. We welcome your Holy Spirit presence today. Please be here with us and meet with us. We want to know you more. Please help us to listen to your word, listen to your Holy Spirit's voice, and change us from the inside out to be more like your Son, Jesus. We also ask that you protect us and care for us as we go about today. We love you, Jesus. We worship you alone. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Great job singing, everybody. Hey, guess what our memory verse is for this week? I know what it is. I know you know what it is. I want to know if the kids can guess. What I want to do. Okay, well, I guess we're going to tell you what it is. It's Galatians 5, 22, and 23. Hey, wait a minute. That's what, that's what Naomi and Evangelina just said and sang. I know. Isn't that weird? Yeah, that's cool. Well, let's learn what it says. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Wow, good job, Scripture Squirrel. I'm so excited to learn this verse this week. This is going to be awesome. We'll get this verse down in our hearts, and then we'll know what the Spirit of God produces inside of us. That's right. Can you say it one more time, Scripture Squirrel? Yes. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Excellent job. Thank you, Scripture Squirrel. No problem. Anything else you want to say? Hi, kids. I love you. All right. Thank you, Scripture Squirrel. What a treat. Well, I wonder what we'll learn about today. In the Daily Devotion for January 4th, the fruit of the Spirit. That's what we're learning about. How cool is that? But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Galatians 5, 22 and 23. You'll notice the word forbearance in there instead of love, joy, peace, patience. Forbearance is a synonym for patience in a different version. Okay, how many fruits can you name? Apples, oranges, pears, bananas, kiwis, kumquats, uh, mangoes, avocados, strawberries, raspberries, blueberries. 
the list goes on and on. Did you know there is a fruit called a donut peach? That's right, it looks like a donut, but it tastes sweet. Well, donuts taste sweet, but it's not a donut. It's a peach. This kind of peach it was first grown in China. Hundreds of different fruits grow in countries around the world. These are fruits we can see and touch and taste. The Bible describes a different kind of fruit called the fruit of the spirit. This fruit, fruit refers to actions and attitudes that please God, things like kindness and patience. When our hearts are filled with God's spirit, he helps us to show love to others. He helps us to be joyful and patient even in difficult situations. When we do these things, other people see the fruit of the spirit in our lives. So an action for today would be to draw nine different fruits on a piece of paper and then associate one of the fruits of the spirit with each of the nine fruits. So if you like to draw, that would be a fun job for you to draw nine different kinds of real fruit and then put the names of the fruits of the spirit on them and associate which ones go with which words. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And you can tell when the Lord is moving in your life, when the Holy Spirit is is working in you when you are showing those nine things. That is the fruit of the Spirit. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for the Holy Spirit. Please fill us with your Holy Spirit so that we can produce the fruits of the Spirit in our lives, Lord, of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Cause those things to come out of us by your Spirit. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. What a great way to start your week. So go out there and show those fruits everywhere you go. And when you're challenged, when you get angry or frustrated or impatient, remember the fruits of the Spirit. Let the Holy Spirit work in you and change you in your attitudes and thoughts and responses. In Jesus' name. All right. Let's go out with a blessing and a song. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine on you and give you peace. May the Lord lift up the height of his countenance on you. May the Lord protect you and keep you safe from all harm and trouble. In Jesus' name, Amen. that in every